Last night, the American people heard something we hadn't heard in a very, very long time. Honest assessment of where we are as a country. We also heard a strong vision of how we're going to work together to make life for struggling Americans better. President Obama gave his speech. It was a tour de force. It was one of the best speeches I've heard in all my 28 years in Washington. He didn't flinch from the problems we face, but gave every American confidence that we could meet them, succeed, and prevail. I thought the President gave a right-on message to us here in Congress and to everyone across the nation. And what we were listening for the President to say to us last night is that he understood what families and people and businesses in our communities are going through, but he had a path forward. It was a positive message, and I like how he ended it, with a young girl who reminded all of us that we are not a nation of quitters, that it is hard work ahead of us, that we need to focus on those challenges that we have failed to focus on for a number of years now, if not decades, whether it's health care or education or energy. We're all in this together. These crises don't affect one party more than the other. It affects American people just the same. If we can pull together we can lift ourselves out of this hole and help our economy not only recover, but prosper <coughs> once again. We are here today to pledge that we are going to do everything we can to work with the Republicans and work with the administration to get things done. Now the hard work begins as Congress works with the White House and this President to move us forward on that path. And it is most important that our Republican colleagues join us with that. The door is wide open. We welcome their <laughs> ideas. We welcome them to work with us. We want them to turn their applause from last night into action and work with us because this country needs us all to work together.